What I love about the Cheltenham Science Festival is it, it, its purpose is to communicate science to, to the general public, be they you know, children or schools uh, or families. And that is terribly important, that people begin to understand, even if you haven't received a formal education in science, that you begin to understand some of the issues. Hi, my name is Andrea Sella. I'm a chemist from University College London. The thing I love about Cheltenham is just the sheer eclecticism associated with it and the incredible joy that everyone has here. And where else could I go where I could hear about sort of public policy, where I could hear about fundamentals of Big Bang Theory and so on, and then at the same time have a huge laugh. My name is Heston Blumenthal. Anything that makes science more accessible and above all makes it fun it is, is important. And that's why I think the Cheltenham Science Festival is completely unique. It does that. Martin Horwood, I'm the uh, Lib Dem MP for Cheltenham and Environment Spokesman for the Lib Dems nationally. And um, I love the Cheltenham Science Festival because you have events like the ones I've just been to with uh, Jonathan Porritt and a whole range of people talking about energy efficiency, where you go in quite gloomy and looking at all these global problems which virtually make your brain want to explode. And you hear the most extraordinary stuff about the new technologies, the new possibilities, and you just think, actually, there are answers to these problems. There is technology, there is science that can, that can help us tackle these huge issues. And it's really inspiring, and it's fun as well. I'm Cathy Sykes, one of the science directors for the Times Cheltenham Science Festival. And here's why I love the festival. It celebrates science. It really is, I think, a special place that creates an atmosphere that feels like a real party, and there's real challenge, there's real exploration, and there's real joy. I love this festival. It is the most inspiring place to be to hear about science. It's a five-day festival of debate, delight, entertainment. It's science like you've never seen it before. OK, um, I'm Jonathan Porritt. I'm the uh, chairman of the UK Sustainable Development Commission, and I've been uh, here at the Cheltenham Science Festival since the very first one. For me, this is really very much about the cutting edge of where science should be in people's lives, in communities, not sitting in some distant ivory tower. The thing about the Trans Science Festival here in Cheltenham is that it's different from all other science festivals. It's much more involved with trying to engage with the public by listening to what their opinions are about science and trying to respond to them in a way that most science festivals don't. But I think this is unique and I think it reflects a changing um, approach to um, how we science communicate, engage and have dialogue with the public. They, if we've learned nothing else from science, it's that you have to have proper controls. How are you? How are you? You're being interviewed. Yeah, I am. And you were in there. Interrupt. You know, I was, he's, he's, we catch you he's actually naked for this interview. It's radio, I'm assuming. He's, it's it's really no, I, I think unpleasant. it's going to be written down. I don't think it's actually going to appear oh, anyway. You know, <laughs> okay. That's the first time I've seen him post head injury. <laughs> and he's handling it really well. well